Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. And today we're going to be talking about a question that I've gotten quite a lot and that is what is exactly a Minecraft transaction ID? Now these are really super important, especially for the OG community. Uh, and so I thought I would answer this in an entire video. It's gonna be a little bit short, uh, but let's get into it and we're gonna be playing Bridges while we talk about it. A transaction ID is used to verify essentially the purchase of literally pretty much anything online from clothes to food to in this case a game but in the case of Minecraft the ID has some extra importance. Now Mojang uses this ID to verify the ownership of a Minecraft account so for example transaction IDs can be used to regain control of an account if it's lost whether you know someone steals your password and uses it to log on and change everything or or if you're locked out of your account for whatever reason, you can mail uh, Mojang with this password and get your account back. Now, most people don't pay attention to this number when they purchase the game because it's just emailed out to you with your purchase. But of course, it is really important, especially for OGs and those who want to keep their account secure. Now, because Minecraft ha has not yet allowed two-factor authentication, knowing your transaction ID is, of course, crucial to keeping your account long-term, especially, you know, if you are in the ownership of a valuable account that people might want to take. So, you know, you should definitely know this number. If you don't know how to get it, I'm going to tell you really quickly. If you are still using the email that you purchased your Minecraft account through, uh, you can just look for the email as long as you didn't delete it. You should be able to go search and find it. Uh, crucial reminder that your email and Minecraft passwords should be different though. This is something that I myself am not great at, but I have, I do have different passwords for both accounts, but you definitely don't want to get into a situation where you jeopardize your, you know, entire account and your transaction ID, which is of course kept in your email by having the same password as your Minecraft account, because if one account is breached, then both are breached and you get into a really sticky situation where your transaction ID might be stolen. Now, if you can't search through your email, it becomes a bit more complicated. And this is because Mojang has used different payment processing services throughout Minecraft's, you know, like decade long journey. Uh, if the account was purchased after December of 2013 though, you should be good. You can just contact Mojang if you can't find uh, exactly what your transaction ID is, that email that it was sent out in. And they'll ask you essentially for the credit card details that you originally purchased Minecraft with. So, you know, that could be difficult considering that that covers the past seven years of Minecraft's existence, but you should be able to somehow figure that out, especially if you were the person who purchased it. But if the account was purchased anywhere between 2011 and 2013, then Mojang at that time was using the payment processor Skrill and you will have to contact them through the original email account that you use to purchase Minecraft. So man, you know, if you're not in control of that email account anymore, uh, that could be an issue for getting your transaction ID for sure. And if you purchased Minecraft at the very, very beginning, then you'll have to go through the payment processor Dibs, which is pretty much the same case as Skrill. You'll have to contact them through the original account that you bought Minecraft with. And finally, those who got Minecraft via a prepaid pen or gift code, you could easily just contact Mojang support and they'll get you sorted out. Usually contacting Mojang support is pretty much just a good idea no matter what, just to make sure that you've, you know, crossed your T's, dotted your I's, all that good stuff. It's also important to remember that, you know, people can't just guess your transaction ID. Uh, because Minecraft has had different payment processors over its history, there are actually different transaction ID formats. So two Minecraft accounts, depending on when they were created, can actually have two completely different transaction IDs. So they are actually pretty hard to crack. Uh, but that is pretty much everything on Minecraft transaction IDs. I know that people were asking about them. Now you know what they are. You know that you need to go find out yours. Uh, but until next time, which will be sometime later this week, I promise my upload schedule is pretty good for now. But until then, I will see you guys later. Deuces. Right.